It seems like everyone has a friend who likes doing bloody gory makeup things. And there are plenty of low budget ways to do blood hits on set. But sometimes you're not gonna have access to that. Or maybe it's too messy or maybe the makeup girl just slept late. So here we'll take a look at some digital blood that can be used in a pinch when someone gets shot. This is a shot from Aaron Boys, which is a movie about hitmen. When this guy gets shot, he spins out and falls down quickly. That's very important. You always want to be moving very quickly in a situation like this because hanging there, you're going to be exposing all sorts of tracking problems. Plenty of blood burst stock footage is available now, but a hundred years ago when we shot this, we had to shoot ketchup and mustard in front of a green screen. We used that as an alpha mat for a red solid and placed it on top of the head. Sometimes you're going to really have to spend time on the track if they move slowly, or even use another program such as Mocha to do planar tracking if the perspective changes. Here's an example of when an actor can't move quickly. This shot starts out with the same blood spurts from the wound as the last one. We need the wound to stay there though, so what we can do is cut out an area of his shirt, make it red, and animate the mask to follow his movements. This layer is put on multiply. This is a very tricky situation, because when he puts his hand up, it shouldn't cover the blood entirely, but it also shouldn't show through his hands entirely. This is where putting it on multiply does enough to de-emphasize the red blob. The tie coming up to cover it for a bit also definitely helps. This movie was done in standard definition, so if you're working in HD, you're probably not going to be able to just get away with a red blob. The best way is going to be to get an image of blood on a shirt and then track it, possibly using a planar tracker such as Mocha, and then use the puppet tool to make it conform to the folds of the shirt. In this shot from our action film Evasive Maneuvers, the driver of this car gets hit with a bullet through the windshield. There was nothing on set. It would have been a very dangerous safety issue anyway. We turn to catch up yet again, this time squirting it into a glass baking dish. We knew we were going to multiply it, so we just made sure it was in front of a light background. There's no need to put anything coming from his face, because screening an image of a bullet hole hides that area. We need to stabilize the blood, because of the stupid conditions which we shot it. We also have to blow it out. You should really just shoot in front of a white wall and put the baking dish on a stand. The stabilized blood gets multiplied under the bullet hole. Both of those elements have to be motion tracked, and this is a very difficult shot to do it on. There's virtually nothing to track, but the camera shake can help us out because your eye can't really lock on to much. You can watch plenty of punky little kids get shot in our action film Evasive Maneuvers, and a few more in Aaron Boys, if you could suffer through the rest of them.